Introducing revolutionized big man shenanigans badness. Yeah, that's the shop. That's on her cheap, cheap, cheap. Yeah. No, there's a thing that we never turn the shop so efficient. Oh, this is a dope guy from the design. Yeah. All right, that's dope. Look at it now. Mm-hmm. This is Tad's International Walk. No. Mm-hmm. Watch out, boom shot. You're telling him to tell us a make the way to Merman now. So this one is a short shot. If you can't stop, boom shots. Boom shots. Ladies, are you ready? Yes. Well, again, Tanya, it's great to see you so soon again. And Patra, lovely to meet you. I don't think we've ever met before, but. It's a pleasure, it's an honor to have both of you here on your on the sofa with me. I know we're virtual right now, but... Um, you know, every every phase of my life, I talk about it in music. So when I'm young, I'm a face young problems, I talk about them. Mm-hmm. And I come with solutions, but because I'm very outspoken, I don't hold back none. And now I approach midlife, I'm in the midlife, I want to talk about that too. Because people try to put you in a box, especially as females, they put us in a box. It's like, when you get to 35, 40, but you're supposed to start um, shrinking. You're supposed to disappear. You know, you're not supposed to be a complete human being anymore. Like you, you can't sexy. How dare they? You can't hot, you can't happy. You can only live as extensions of other things. Like if you have a husband, then you have to be him wife. If you have kids, you can only be a mother. But what about you, the person? Why well, you can't be you? So this is what 50 is about that, honestly. I couldn't think of nobody else who could have possibly bring that out better than Pacha. It had to be her because she celebrates the teenage, the twenties, the thirties, the best. She come out loud. She do things we never done before. She set trends. Uh, it's, uh... She's an urban legend. She influenced culture across the board because the rapper them, the, the R and B them take it around with it. So, so being able to collaborate and something like this with her, it's really important to me. If you say this with, with the icon we represent, the phases where we are going to, we say, say sexy and sensuous and self-love and embrace yourself and come out and don't business with people. Mm-hmm. It had to be her. Yeah. She- <laughs> and for me, oh my God, I'm getting goosebumps because everywhere I've gone around the world, people always ask me, so who is your, um, the female artist then that you love and look up to? And the first person, um, name that would always come up is Tanya Stevens because the way how Tanya Stevens um, write her music and the way she able to present it to the public raw but raunchy <laughs> not vulgar but sexy and the things that she say I was saying that Tanya remind me of some long long time people so because her brain is so way beyond her years you understand the way she think because pertaining to this song now uh, when Tanya came and checked me up by my jerk center and stuff like that, because I love her a long time already, I know, you know, because she's been telling me, say, yeah, man, she'll go pass through and check me and stuff like that. So she not only did pass through and surprise me the day and check me. So I ran out still, you know, outside and I was like, Tanya, not even knowing that it was about a song. So knowing crazy me, you know, after she said, yeah, but more to end this song, when she put the song in, because she was in her car and she started playing the song. As soon as the song started playing, Trust me, I start skinning out of it. In front. <laughs> <laughs> I start skinning. Listen, you? yeah, you remember, right? I was like, me and the workers, them from my business, but they all come out and we were like that. Yeah. So I was totally forgetting what was going on. And at the same time, she said to me, say, yo, this is the song that I want you on. So she's the one who actually write all the lyrics for the song and stuff and things like that. And say, okay, these are the bars that I want you to do. Study them and everything and then um set up our studio time we come into the studio and um she said to me said deliver it my way uh, according to how i want to deliver it but same ear same way how she have it texturized and everything and it was just a pleasure to go in there and do it i did it and then i come back in and do it because i, I hear tanya's part i was like Tanya sound like some big, big woman out there in a long, long time, people. So I need to come in back and tighten up my thing. So I call Tads and, you know, he hook up everything and I come back into the studio and do the song. But what most intriguing for me about this song is that women have to embrace themselves. Because for me, I age in reverse. You understand what I'm saying? And I was, as I was always telling people, I was so tired in my 20s. In my 30s, I was close to making some serious decision. Then I went down again. And then 
within my 40s, I start feeling so sensual and feeling more beautiful, like a, a real woman, feel like I've arrived, you know? And um, this song is so amazing that I think that women should embrace it. Young girls should embrace it because it's very clean and nice. And it allows you to want to take care of yourself so that when you reach the maturity, you'll be able to, um, you know, articulate yourself and know who you are and be confident. And this is what this song is all about. And I love it because I'm almost 50 and, you know, I age in reverse and turn and do the song first. And this song here, Woman for 50, don't think about anything. You just know, so we're there. We can do all of that. We can do this. We can do everything we want. We just have to just love ourselves. Yes. We don't have to prove ourselves to anybody. Just be who you are, love who you are. And that's what Tanya brings out. And I'm really um, happy about, um, you know, being on this record. And now we're ready to take it to the world. But it's woman time now, and we want the woman then to be confident. You don't have to be ashamed of anything. Love who you are and embrace age that it comes because the older you get is the wiser you get. Trust me, in your 20s, I was in my 20s, was in my 30s. I don't know how exhausted I was, but I kind of set the foundation from there. But in order for me to actually execute everything right now, this is the type of vibe. So it's, it's a pleasure working with Tanya because me's a fun long time. So when me hear about Tanya, I say, Ray, Ray, Ray. It's like, I'm like, okay, it's a pity. You know, this is the woman that makes some of the biggest hit records. My mom made it in their John Baker place. Yes. I chill out and me say, made only a drink some yes. And then I remember a certain topic come up when I don't know the people. And I said, whoa. <laughs> I love it because they're like, the most artists. The artists, them have them ideas. So that's what I love about Tanya. The independence is not, and not only that, it could only be a girl like Tanya who actually come to me to do a collab at this moment. I couldn't see anybody else showing up. It was amazing to see this chemistry between you two. Obviously, this is a very organic process. And, you know, it's amazing to see both of you embracing this topic because, you know, in culture, usually, People are taught, especially women, like you said, sit in the background, you're getting older, there's all these taboo subjects. I don't see either of you shriveling up, but in fact, this is like you said, aging reversely. You seem to be having a better time now. You're more comfortable in your own skin now. You're more comfortable in your careers, in your mindset, probably in your relationship or ships, whatever those are. It seems yeah. like this time you guys seem very calm, collected, and happy more you know happy yes because um we have to claim that it's not that we weren't happy before it's because we know what we need and what we deserve but we had to just you know chill out for a few but um the beautiful thing about it is that we've always embraced those things in our minds we were just waiting for the right moment and i'm sure it has always been there so i don't want men or anybody out there to think that we are not powerful in what we do as women, but because we break out so early You're right. and doing what we're doing in the game and stuff, we, we have to learn. Kids. Yeah, definitely. We start out from kids. <laughs> Yo, lock we down from before we teen. And we started out and have to learn the thing. Now, for this generation, it has changed, which is a much quicker because we didn't have IG, we didn't have Facebook, we right. everything. So everything has to be done manually. We physically have to be there. So. The empowerment actually you say now is all up in our mind because once we have our mind um, correct, we don't need to think about anything else. But we want the younger yeah. generation to start thinking about wanting to live longer and older, but embracing it and yeah. appreciate it. Because trust me, I don't care what anyone says. I remember my 20s very well, that it was very tiring and you actually trying to make out what life really is then. Yeah. And then you, no, you know, you no. played along the way, it, you know, and now we know yeah. it's a whole different thing. As someone who loved the Queen of the Pack, it's so nice to see new music from you. Are you working on new stuff? Is this a new direction again? And you mentioned you've been working in your, you own your own business right now. You're, you're, you actually are the chef in your own business. That's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, man, sexy food, by the way, and we're going to have a cooking show as well. But yeah, man, I'm doing a lot of stuff right now, coming out with, with things, but I'm not overdoing anything. And that's the reason why this song that I'm doing with Tanya at the moment, it's a good jump off. I have something else going on at the moment, but this particular song, like, it is a whole different aspect of, of, of everything, especially for me, because it's here I am embracing something that... Um, 
I don't think that I would be able to come up with something and articulate it in such a way as uh, um, as how I see it. So what Tanya has done with a song like this, 50, it actually put my mind in that concept as how I think as a woman and kind of I embrace it, you know? So it's like, I'm, I'm not the type of artist that do too many things at one time. So whatever is in front of me, that's what I'm focusing on. And this particular song right here, 50, trust me, I want people to understand it because it's not just a song, it's an anthem. It is something for people to feel um, amazing about themselves about. And it's very important we get this message out there clear. You know what I mean? You don't need to do anything at all more than love yourself. And everything is not gonna be happy, happy all the time. But you can create a space. If you feel say stress and something, always talk it up. That's another thing too. The more you keep things in that cause mm -hmm. you to be broken down emotionally, it yeah. takes you away from your woman. So you have to embrace whatever it is, the good, the bitter, the sweet, because in the end, you'll be flowing like us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need to find a way to get some of this magic as I age gracefully or like a scattered mom like <laughs> like when you think of all the sex symbols globally whatever genre you know she described you like everybody wanted to be like you in the black you know you were collabing with people like yo yo you were in tupac's video no tupac was the one that showed up in my video oh well yeah he bought the video <laughs> tupac was a good friend of mine um, I miss him so much. It was so shocking for me. Just like Biggie, they were both my, my good friends. And to see both of those guys um, just um, not in the game anymore. That's when I decided actually to take another break. I take a break fully until I have my stuff together because I understand what the circumstances is or what was around those things. But it was a pleasure knowing these people. But knowing these guys, they're just like me and Tanya. We sit down, we talk about what... Um, not good, what's good, and how we all want to relax and chill like that. Everybody was just regular people. And that's why I miss them because they were so um, encouraging for me as a young Jamaican female artist into America. Um, they just, you know, you know, biggest small mom is Jamaican. So it was easy to kind of vibe and thing like that, you know? I mean, yeah. over the years, you both have seen so much. You've done so much. You've had some good experiences. Like you said, you've had some bad experiences, very sensitive, emotional ones all around. What kind of impact does it have when you're losing people around? How do you continue to keep going on? How do you not shrivel up, as you say? No, what I do, I just get, what I do, you gather the strength, I fast and I pray, and then I just get rid of what's not supposed to be there. And it's after you do that, you realize, like, say, oh my God, oh, I couldn't get rid of this long time. <laughs> You know, how couldn't I have gotten rid of it? Because if you don't have a spiritual beam, something beaming in your heart and in your life and stuff, you can lose your way. But if you're focused and stuff and you can actually know, and as I said, you accepting yourself and knowing who you are, trust me, you can go through. There's always going to be little things, but those things are manageable. Because the only way those things can happen is if you drive out or leave your house, you might go in at somebody who's angry or something is going on. But if you claim your own space, you can always bring back your sanity. And that's one of the things I've learned, you know, about me as a person is that I'm free mentally because the worst thing you want to do is to be a mental slave. And if you do stuff like that for yourself and just show who you are, less crowd, you just want to have the right amount of people around you and you will know who they are. Yeah. Those are the people, you know, if you're sick or something happened to you, if you're hungry or this or that, those are the people. So it's, it's not hard anymore because growing up in age, as I said, you get to learn all that time come up. And that's what I love about life right now. And both of you guys, both you and you, Tanya, you've both had international success. You've both traveled, lived probably all over the globe. I love the fact that you guys are back and you know, you're both strong Jamaican women. And I know we've had conversations where some of that, you know, you know, Jamaican culture doesn't always recognize or doesn't always, um, you know, salute women or there's always things that happen across the way, right? And, but you're here and you're still here and you're still proud and you still love the culture. You're still in the culture, still repping the music, you're repping the, country it's amazing well first of all yes we both had international success but this is something we always want to do 
for, for draw the lines and make them clear. Mm -hmm. We didn't have the same kind of international success. She was huge. Her career is so much. I, I didn't do half of what she did. That's you what know? Tanya think. No, I mean, not trust me. I mean, I do half of what. Because for, for the first part, <laughs> the amount of work that she do, me lazy. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. I, <laughs> it, it made my head hurt just to think about, think about it. If you, if I look at you from the outside, and we can tell, mm. patch of the Europe. Oh no, should they America? Oh my God, she's in Japan, <laughs> and she's constantly on the move, and she's doing so much. You see her on the show, yeah, the show, yeah, the morning show, the afternoon show, the evening show, the night show. Yeah, it's a lot of work, people. People come to us for entertainment mm -hmm. and them relax when them they're on with. So they assume mm -hmm. that it's not work, but this is hard work. So I give props. So when we talk about me and Patra, mm -hmm. we're both successful artists. Yes. I don't have anything to, I, I don't, there's nothing that I need to feel um, in any way slighted by or about. Mm -hmm. No, but me have to point out, say, when we, when we talk about, each other. We're not, we're not just say you both had international success. Yeah. I make it seem like they're equal. They're not equal because she did a lot. A lot yeah, a lot, but, a but lot. you see, for a lyricist, <laughs> for a lyricist. Yeah, we I'm, know some chat too much. No, but, you see, no, but Tanya will always say that. But I know because too, because I love Tanya, I have me listen to Tanya album them and have them and stuff and things like that. I've never really looked at it as um like this where who is this or that and stuff i just look at it as music it consumed a lot of work back in the day for me because of how the whole thing was set up and thing but it was from that same thing that i wanted to take a break from in order <laughs> <laughs> in order for me to actually see myself and understand myself so when the spirit came inside me and said yo you need to take a break I had to take a break. So sometimes you see all that things that's going on out there and stuff, and you're overworked and you work. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's there and everything. But at the same time, you have to have that grassroots mentality to where you know, say, you can chill. And that's when you would drop it like uh, Tanya Stevens thing and put them thing in there. It's like word for word, but know them because she's very <laughs> controversial. And, um, you know, so it's not an um, thing there. So it's like you have your artists who love each other as artists and things like that. She look at it different. She look at the whole thing that was going on and stuff like that. But I think that talent is the most important thing when it um when it comes to everything. And that's where me and Tanya is. When we don't yeah. have to push up thing in it. We respect one another. Talent, yeah, we can fully clothe and yeah. entertain because it's you know you have to have talent if you know what I mean. Talent. <laughs> Tanya, when we spoke, we went through a very long time and you know you spoke about some sensitive issues and also speaking about how you know you know sometimes the culture hasn't embraced females empowerment but that's happening now but i just still see you like despite all of the issues and all of the things that you might that might be backwards in some ways or not backwards you seem to still be there and embracing Jamaica and you haven't you know some some people would throw away their hat and move on or leave but you haven't you you still they lose everything I love me hard man. no man I, j listen Jamaica have problems mm -hmm. we need fixing like everywhere else other places have problems too but we live in Jamaica mm -hmm. so I'm a focus on Jamaica mm -hmm. and sometimes people get angry with me because they say me make Jamaica look bad. No, me talk about the problems and say let's fix them. Yeah, you, you know, know what? The problem. Something. But we love me hard. Which is okay. That's why we need to be the other day. COVID was here and we all were home, right? Yeah, we did have it. We have to learn how we stay we had. We did have our house Exactly. <laughs> but I want to address just one thing and the female thing and stuff like that. Um, the, it, 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 it in reality, it has never been male dominated in anything that we do. It's a state of mind. Because it takes women to, 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 to lead a village, much less to give birth and to do all of these things. So we should embrace that power. We can't make because of culture, class, or race or anything and stuff. We know who we are as women. So therefore, all the things that we've been through, that's why we can look at it, move on. It don't mean that we don't know in our minds. But it is good for people to know that they can make them try run them joke there again with us. Because those days are gone. Long gone. Long, long gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see me. <laughs>
you know, respect to women like you are probably encouraging the rest of us, you know, because there has to be someone doing it. And it's always like, nobody wants to do it, but someone has to do it. And I see you guys doing it in a very natural way. And it's obviously something that you care about because you haven't shut the door on it, which is what the ultimate respect is. Cause I can't imagine it being an easy ride. Uh, well, we know it's not an easy ride. We've heard it along the way. We've seen things along the way. But on a more lighter note, I did hear that when you were in a studio, Tanya was very impressed with you, Patra, for being able to put your leg over your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always doing it. It's my hobby, actually. I love stretching, you know. So I just end up doing it all the time. Anywhere I go, I was, um, I was on a set the other day doing something. And, I, and honestly, I didn't see the person beside me, not Tanya. And me, I do my little stretching. I almost kicked the man in the face. He's like, oh, my God. You almost hit me in the face. And I was like, oh, sorry. You know, but it's just a thing that I do, you know, because I love doing it. I'm sure Tanya can do it, but as Tanya wants to be a Brazilian. Me tell you, if Tanya wants it, it's not that hard and thing. But, you know, it's just me. That, see that? But, but it did go tight. <laughs> no, sir. Go on, drop. No. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, we yeah. as women, honestly, I feel even younger than when I was so-called younger before. Because as I said, I was so exhausted then. Yeah. And um, I, I, it looked fun to everyone. Yes, I was having some fun, but I actually wasn't having that massive fun. Because I said, I know what I'm worth. I always know that. I always know what I'm worth. Because my mom taught me that from a country girl coming up and thing. And when the spirit hit me that day and said, Patrick, you need to take a break. It wasn't anything for me. I just did it. Because, you see, I can't just let music alone define who I am right. as a person. I actually have a life <laughs> beside well, music, and that's the reality of being a human being. <laughs> but I'm not here to please anyone. I'm just here to make my fans feel good. And this record is for women and men who know, say, all when them are 50, I know they're ready to start. Because I met this man the other day, he's over 70. Him say, you tell yourself, <clears throat> same thing. <laughs> but, but he can still manage. So you see what I'm, I swear he say that. Again. You know what I mean? I love it. I love it so much. And I think everybody really needs to hear it. And I feel like people are vibing to this already. So, you know, mm -hmm. if you guys want to leave us with a quick boom shots drop or a quick snippet from the, you know, do your thing. We would love it. Party good, but 50, I go better. Real good, I got get tighter and wetter. Ooh. I challenge the original queen trendsetter. I got to take it, I got to take it, I got to take it. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Give me the tip, I make the queen wind up. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we have. Yo. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, girls. Thank you, ladies. Yeah. you guys are awesome thank you so much for taking the time out we are so grateful just to have some time with you and your vibe is so infectious i know we could stay here all day but this was important because we want to really promote this single because it's a special one thank love you so much. and ladies please love yourself and don't think about anything else <laughs> so, 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 and I'm a, yeah, man. <laughs> thank you grateful just to have some time with you and your vibe is so infectious i know we could stay here all day but i would love when we get a chance to get back to jamaica if we can like link again and have a reasoning where we could talk about other things but this was important because we want to really promote this single because it's a special one thank love you so much. and ladies please love yourself and don't think about anything else <laughs> <laughs>